Hi, I'm Iris Fritz. I'm with Dunwoody College of Technology. I'm a math instructor there. And I'm talking to you today regarding radian measure versus degree measure and how to do your unit conversions. So let's do another one. I've got many, many to play with you so you get a good sense of this. Again, it's key to understand this. Forms of one, they're power tools in math. They help us get work done. I can use it to help me change how this looks, but not what it means into degree measure. I'm going to do it again with you to give you a good sense. So this time, I'll just make up something. Let's see. Let's change 4 pi over 3 radians into degrees and see how it plays. Now again, I'm going to use this thinking to help us. First off, you want to rewrite what you have to manipulate in its fraction form. So really, this is saying I have 4 pi over 3 times radian, or if you will, 4 pi radian over 3. So that's what's given. And now I want to multiply this by a form of 1 that gets rid of the pi radian measure and brings degrees in. So again, I will be using this to help me. Because pi radian is in the numerator, I have to make sure that my form of 1 has it in the denominator so it will cancel. And up here is where your 180 degrees will be. This is your form of 1, and 1 times anything is just that number. It just so happens this form of 1 does a very nice job of getting rid of the radian measure, and now you can see what's left is degree measure. So let's do the math. So when I start to put this together, I'll write it down underneath here. I have a long horizontal division bar, and what do we have left? We have 4 times 180 degrees in the numerator, over 3 times, if you will, another form of 1, because this canceled. And what are you left with? So when you simplify this, and I'm hoping that you know how, the 3 goes into 180 how many times? 3 times 60 gives you 180. Notice the degrees remain. And I have 4 times 60. Just doing the math, this should be something that you know. 4 times 60 is 240, and my unit of measure is in place, 240 degrees. So hopefully this helps you with radian measure. You've got to keep it so simple. So the next piece I want to do is I want to change from degrees back into radians. Same kind of thinking. This time around, though, we'll use this form of 1. So let me erase and get another problem up. You've got to keep it so simple when you're learning this. Don't get too wrapped up in the language. It can shut you down. We don't want that to happen. So here we go. Let's go ahead and go from degree measure, degrees to radian measure. So I'm just walking it back the other way. Two different ways to say the same thing. Let's start with 60 degrees. All right, so 60 degrees. I don't want to read this as degrees now. I want to see what it looks like in radian measure. You can write 60 degrees as if it's over 1. It means the same thing. I'm getting myself prepared. And now I have to choose which form of 1 do I want to use here, the first one or the second one. Well, notice, you want to get rid of degrees. So to cancel this out, whatever you multiply it by, degrees has got to sit down in the denominator. So you can cancel it. You're creating another form of 1. It's all over the place in math. So here we go. So I'm going to use this this time around to help us get work done. We're going to use pi rad over 180. So my form of 1 here will be pi times radian and it will be over 180 degrees. Again, this is just another way to write the number 1. What does it do for me? It lets me cancel out the degrees. Wasn't that the goal? Isn't that what I asked you to do? And what are you left with? In the numerator, I have 60 times pi 
times radian. Oh, we like that. That was the idea, wasn't it? And down below here, I have 1 times 180. Clean this up. Do the math. And so what do you find with this? And so when you work out your math and you start to simplify, and I'm not sure if you've ever learned how to reduce, but here's a slick way to reduce. You know that 180 is 2, well, in fact, 180, what's 18? Isn't 18 3 times 6? And since it's, if you will, 180, wouldn't this be 3 times 60? And it's all 60 is over that. Doesn't this cancel? And when everything cancels here, say so you're just reducing, what am I left with? I have pi times radian up in the numerator over 3. So 60 divided by 180 gives you 1 third. We generally don't write the 1 here. It's implied. You have 1, if you will, pi rad over 3. So if you're finding that you're getting hung up with your fractional piece and you're reducing and you're not remembering how to do that, that's something to review for you. But pi radian over 3 is indeed your answer. In the next section, what we're going to do is we're going to then go from degrees into radian measures. So now what you know is where this comes from, why we sometimes have two different ways to say the same thing. It really depends on what measurement is going to help us get work done. And you have to know how to convert from one way of saying something to another way. And that's what we just did. We went from radian measure into degrees. Now what we want to do in the next segment is go from degrees back into radian measure again, still using the same thinking.